Hello, welcome Julia Doe to KICC The Open Doors, what's nice? It's great to be here, thanks very awesome. much. As a special guest artist worship, um, worshipping with us at KICC The Open Doors, what's that concert for the first time, how do you feel? Oh, I feel really, really excited. Uh, awesome. When I got the invitation to come here, I was very excited and uh, I can't wait actually. I've been really counting down the day, so it'll be really super looking forward to it. So you've been feeling the buzz, so it's just absolutely, so, absolutely. Awesome, awesome. That's great. <laughs> when did you start your musical career? Well, I've been singing since I was a child, really, um, but didn't really take it seriously until about 2006 when I recorded my first album professionally. Uh, so, but I've been singing in my church choir um, and in school and everywhere, really, since I was young. Okay. Yeah. Can we have, what was the title of your first album? It's called Light My Way, it released in 2008. What is your greatest moment as a psalmist so far? So it could be worshipping in the UK, abroad, or ministering within the UK but in different churches, congregations, maybe academies, or mm. just let us know what it's like to be Julia Doe, the psalmist. Well, I think that one of the most fantastic, memorable things that happened was when actually Pastor Matthew asked um, us to minister for the first time in, in Host Street when we released the album in 2008 and that was spectacular. It was the first time really sort of doing something in public uh, apart from being in the choir. So this was in a solo capacity. So I would say that really was a stepping stone and that built on from there to you know other opportunities that have come along. Oh, so that just like built the platform and then Absolutely, after yeah. that it just grew and yeah. grew and grew. Yeah, awesome. yeah it's been really Thank great. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. How do you manage to build and carry the congregation along with new praise and worship songs? Like, because you have a very unique style of praise and worship, which is not very common, and I, mm -hmm. I really like that. Thanks. And you have a, fl a flair of bringing new worship songs, which just carry an unction, mm -hmm. and praise and worship songs, which can just be electrifying. Mm -hmm. How do you manage to bring people up and just, I won't say use the word bring, but how do yeah. you, yeah. like, yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> um, I think basically um, I, I'm a worshipper. I, I just love the presence of God. I love to worship. And I think that energy and, you know, when you're on stage and you're leading people and you're actually in the thing yourself, it's not just something you're doing. You're not telling people to go somewhere you're not going. Uh, so I think for me, that's the key. It's that passion I feel about Jesus Christ. And that comes through in the song. So I think that passion then ignites other people as well and then you know then they come aboard which is what it's all about wow that is <laughs> Whew, i'm feeling blessed already oh <laughs> yes <laughs> okay so now our final question so what are your plans for 2015 and what do your fans people who watch you what if, are they expected to see next year and in the coming years oh well probably more of the same i've just actually released my my ep my new ep called we cry holy so I'm um, still in the process of ministering that around uh, and uh, hopefully in 2015 God opens doors for me to have the opportunity to minister those songs which he gave me um, and I think they're very powerful. Uh, so we just continue to go down this route and see what God has in store for us. It's just very exciting really. Awesome. Could you please give us a nutshell on what the We Cry Holy was all about and the concept of it, please? Well, um, it's three songs. Uh, the first song is Shout Hallelujah, and I got that really in my bed. I was just sleeping, and the song just came to me really, verse, chorus, uh, vamp, and I had to record it then. Then it was the first song that the Lord gave to me in 2011, and that, then following that, We Cry Holy came, and then the, the third song, No Matter What, actually, which was a song that was birthed out of some great um, sadness, but I declare that no matter what, we'll believe the word of God. So it's a really prophetic um, EP, I feel, that uh, the songs really mean something, and I, I hope that they touch people uh, all around the world. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you today. It's a pleasure to be here. We're really excited for a really wonderful night tonight. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks.
Can you see his glory? 